Ready or not. All right, let's roll. Lead us out. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. You got it. You got it. All right, we are riding out on the Baja Divide, the Cape Loop 2024 tour. Now, we're gonna take you guys long for the ride on this video series. All the trials and tribulations, all of the ups and downs, literally, quite literally, because we're looking at about two weeks Maybe 250 miles or so, Eric. 24,000 feet of climbing. That's a lot of climbing. My name is Michael Ladin. After visiting over 120 countries on five continents, I made the bold decision to sell all of my possessions and become a full-time nomad more than four years ago. Currently, I am traveling in my self-built ex-Army Overland Expedition truck, complete with a KTM motorbike, bicycles, kayak, a one wheel, and all the essentials needed to explore this incredible planet we call home. Join me as I share my adventures and stories from around the world. Trying to pound it this time, so we're not. Good luck. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see we'll, we'll, see we'll, we'll see you when we return. We promise. Yes. Go, Mikey. Go, Eric. Go, Team Fraley. And from the book of Doozer, no smashies, no crashies, no One eighty one. Whoa. Two ninety nine. One eighteen. Oh, oh, baby. All right, I'm at one eighteen. That's disappointing. Does what was our goal, Eric? Under a hundred. Under a hundred. But compared to last year, we're lightweights. Okay, here we go. You're gonna be able to pick it up. Oh yeah. Oh. So you're one oh four. And I'm 118. Wow. That's ugly. Saying bye to the expedition turtle. He looks He's like, sad. this is a little earlier than I like to get up. <laughs> I was like, Dad, why am I moving? For those of you that are joining us here on the channel that are new, we did the entire Baja Divide from San Diego down to the bottom of the Cape last year. It took us a couple months, but we never got to do this part of the loop, so this is what we're doing now. And uh, as you can tell, I'm already out of breath. What time is it? We're at 8.20. Ooh. And uh, we're not trying to do a lot of miles today, so we're gonna see what happens. We're on the uh, Camino Cabo Este, which is the road I like to call that I live on in the winter time. And uh, we only got about a mile on this road, unfortunately. And then we turn on this road called the uh, Vera Flores Road, which is um, the first five miles is incredible sand. And then after that, it heads uphill uh, pretty significantly. So. We're uh, not setting our expectation levels that high. We do think there's going to be some hike a bike. We'll see what happens, but uh, super excited Can't wait. to be on the road. Turning on to the Miraflores Road. And this is where it's going to get pretty sandy. And we're going to see how that goes, but. Ooh. That's uh, this kind of gets to the point of diminishing returns. It's how much struggle through the sand do you go before you 
Just walk it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, Bessie. Got a little Baja trip for you guys. If you're ever in an arroyo and you have an ability to get off of it or the travel track, ride the sand to the side because it's a little harder because uh, it's not been so chewed up. I'm trying to ride it. Eric's trying to walk it. Mountain back up. Ooh. Alright guys, we are uh, two and a half miles in. Uh, Eric is somewhere behind me, but he's slipping back a little bit because I think his uh, uh, bike is a little bit different. So if you guys watched us uh, last year, we both were riding the Surly Wednesdays and uh, these have 3.8 uh, wide fat bike tires. He has changed it up a little bit this year. He's trying two major different things than I am. He's riding a different bike. It's a mountain bike with a front suspension and he's only got uh two six tires i believe so much thinner uh and on top of that he's decided to go with uh non uh clip-in pedals so that's the difference but um and here he comes right now let me get out of the way he's coming by behind me and uh well no he didn't quite make it it is sandy Oh no! I, I oh, wow! Well, well, we're like three miles in today, and it is uh, 9:30. So we've been on the uh, riding for about an hour. That tells us we're going about three miles an hour, and. Uh, a workout. I don't know if you guys can hear behind me the tinkling of the uh, lead cow. It's a bunch of cows uh, from the ranch up the uh, arroyo here and uh, we've seen a few but I see Eric is uh, pinging around this way. It looks like he's he's back there potentially walking again. It's, uh, it's a tough ride. Anyways uh, we are getting, uh, going between what they call the Camino Cabo Este, which is the uh, East Cape Road, which runs basically from uh, San Jose del Cabo uh, up to La Ribera and on to uh, Los Barriles. Uh, and that is, um, it's a dirt road most of the way. And then this road here, the Miraflores Road, uh, cuts between that road and uh, the Transpeninsular Route one uh, near comes out near Miraflores. Uh, the Baja Divide actually is going to cut off of here when we get to the top uh, of this mountain and head towards a little village called uh, Palo Escapeta. So uh, I can show you guys on the map what that all looks like. Um, but essentially, you can ride all the way from the Sierra Cortez over the mountains uh, and come out on the Pacific Ocean without hitting any pavement at all. The only pavement that we're going to see is on uh, the Transpeninsular One, which we're going to we're going to ride maybe I don't know two miles or so down just to uh, jig jog across it uh, and pick up hopefully some supplies there in a little uh, town called Santa Anita, which is just north of the uh, uh, Los Cabos International Airport. Uh, it's kind of the uh, geography of what's going on, and I hear cows in front of me and Eric pushing the bike behind me. We've only made it 4.5 miles, and I've been pushing probably two of those four miles on a few deep sand that just doesn't seem to ever end. I tried to pedal, but I only get like a couple pedal strokes before my wheel digs in and goes sideways. 
and I'm pushing again. So at this stage, I figured it'd be easier just to keep pushing. But this, oh, this is not easy. Fortunately, we got a good cloud cover and the sun is not bearing bright down on us. So uh, for a day of pushing through deep sand, we got perfect weather. Uh, I'm still glad I'm doing it. Although you may not believe me right now. Breakfast to Baja champions. Prince, uh, Principe. Principe. Uh, I think I might just go for two. Planning, yeah. a, planning ahead. Yeah, I'm going with you. <sighs> wow. Mm. One thing's for sure, you don't make good time anywhere. Four and a half miles mm. in two and a half hours. Two hours. Oh yeah, we were cooking. Mm. Two and a quarter miles an hour. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. But you rode most of it. I rode all, all of it. it. Mm. I haven't pushed yet, mm. but you get to that critical threshold where it's like, do I push or do I pedal? And like, which one is more exertion? You know, it's a, it's a tough call. I think the fat tires are showing their value through that stretch, right despite now. your extra weight, 118 pounds and you still rode it. 104, 2.6 tires. I pushed at least 50%, at least. Maybe more. Oh, I got no food today. Day one, Baja Divide Cape Loot. It is not easy. Probably, I can't remember if it's harder or my memory is just fogged over, but it is pretty hard. I'm having a moving time of three and a half hours and I've only covered 11 and a half miles. And obviously a lot of that's been pushing. Uh, it gets pretty depressing a little bit. I st I'm still happy we did it, but Sometimes it just seems bigger than life, and I wonder about my capabilities sometimes. Uh, Mike's riding really well. He rode through all the soft sand and through most of these medium hills, but he's had to push up the real steep ones, but otherwise he's been doing great. I've had to push through the soft sand and the medium hills and the steep hills. But we'll keep plugging. Well, our goal was 13 miles today, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be close that we even make that. All right, this is our first really super steep hill of the day. This is a pusherama. There's no question. No way you can ride this thing. I don't know what grade that is. I don't know, but if I just do my front brakes, the bike slides back. That's steep. soft it was dangerous good for the sand bad for the hills all right first injury of the ride managed to hit a 
hit a tree on the side a little bit. Everything around here in the desert is dangerous. I don't know if you guys could tell from the camera, but the scenery is just amazing. And Eric is right next to his bike right here. And on one side, we've got an arroyo down here, and it just goes down super steep. And then right on the other side of the road, way down there, is another arroyo. We're like literally running the ridge line here. up this road <laughs> oh cramping cramping oh god deep trouble here i've lost eric way back now smile like i don't know about 13 i am cramping both legs now the slightest incline is killing me i don't know i know i say every day is the hardest day on the baja divide I swear this is the hardest day we had on the Baja Divide. Hands down. Pushing again, going up some big hill with beautiful arroyos, mountains. It is pretty, but it is not hospitable for bike riding. Good decision. It's definitely gonna be challenging and it's probably gonna take us longer than we thought. All right, I made camp spot number one. I haven't set up the tent yet, but looks like we already got some visitors. Well, A, we're in a cemetery. B, Eric isn't here yet. I don't know, he's probably like a mile back. And uh, looks like some of my campmates may have decided to take their car up here and surprise us. You fought the fight, Eric's coming up right behind you. <laughs> when are we done? <laughs> now. This isn't really going to happen every day, <laughs> although we kind of hope it does. <laughs> so we actually have some visitors here. We have Jen and we got Daniel and there's Eric. And oh, we got Nelson, and then we got Cheryl, and we got Chica. Chica. And Chica. So these are some of our our friends from Frylace, who, believe it or not, is only about well, I guess it's only about thirteen point something miles from here, because <laughs> that's as far as we got. Sad to say. And they snuck up the road with uh, their four wheel drive and brought us. What, no, Cheryl, what, what did you make us? Chicken empanadas and those lemon meringue tarts. 
Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> She's so sweet. Mm, wow. <laughs> Talk about spoiled. Wow. wow. <laughs> I mean, I it. <laughs> it was a rough day that's just gotten a lot better. What is this? Tarts. Lemon meringue tarts. This is how you do the Baja Divide. For those out there that are wondering what the highlights might be, it's uh, it's lemon meringue, and it's uh, yeah. This is a treat. She was like, I think I want that. <laughs> My stuff's all right, but yours has got to be better. Oh boy, <laughs> that is out right now. Oh God! It's the bad one too. Oh, that's the bad one. Oh yeah, that one is bad. Oh God! Bye, Chica. I'll just say one word: enjoy. They, it, this is not a this is not a race. This is to see if you can do it. But you know, maybe just take two or three more extra days. I could definitely tell you it's not a race because we would <laughs> we would have already lost. <laughs> okay, so bye. Okay, take care now. Thank you guys. Okay, bye now. So, in your opinion, what do you think? What was it? Was it harder than you expected? The same or or? I think it was. Some As, to use a Michael Ladin word, it was diabolic. <laughs> <laughs> it was much harder. I was toast by the time we got through the sand pit, the first four miles. Yeah. I think, it, was tough. I don't know if it was, uh, I can blame the bike 100%, but the bike with the skinnier tires was really tough through the, and I ended up walking a lot of that. And then uh, after that, things just went downhill. What'd you think? Yeah, it was hard. It was, hard. it was super hard. I mean, first day is always pretty bad, I think, because it's just you're acclimating and. But uh, it was hard. Yeah, I don't it know if people. And I started cramping at right near the end. Well, maybe 20 minutes from the end, and and as you maybe you guys can tell, we're sitting yeah. here very very carefully because legs are tight. Yeah, I started cramping about three hours back. And um, it, it was, and even the stuff I could ride, if I tried to ride it, I would start cramping. So yeah. I ended up walking more, which that also caused cramping. It was a vicious cycle. I just, <laughs> and, and I don't know if people think realize how hilly it is down here. Yeah, I think that's one thing people don't understand about Baja. This is a, but where we are is super remote, um, and it it is rugged environment. I mean, rugged. really rugged environment. And it's it's just um, it's a challenge, you know. And you almost wonder what some of these roads were built for because there's nobody on them. Oh, you know, there's maybe a, I don't know how many ranches do we pass two, two, three, two or three. Um, and we saw, you don't even see them to be honest. It's just roads that go down. Who knows into some valley. Yeah, and we saw two cars. And two cars, but yeah. probably the ranchers so going to their house. Really? But um, yeah, no, it's 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 difficult. And to put it all in perspective, I mean, we did less than 14 miles. We left at 8.30 this morning and rode till 3 o'clock. Yeah. So, uh, we, we our running, our, our, yeah, we do stop a lot. And you have to. Sure. And there's a lot of pushing and a lot of uh, just taking breaks and, yeah. and rest breaks. And uh, and then, as you guys, you know, mm -hmm. we, we got paid a visit from some of our Arroyo mates mm -hmm. and our Los Frailes friends, which a big shout out to those guys. Wow. Amazing. They were like... I mean... It was like the most religious I've been in a long time. When they showed up, <laughs> it know. was the best ever. We got ever. we got a home cooked meal. We got dessert. Oh. You don't get that every day on the Baja Divide for sure. And that was certainly not. We were not expecting that. It felt like a five star hotel. Oh, yeah. amazing! Was, uh, amazing. As, as I pull out our spam maple flavored spam. That's right, because. We've Ooh. gotta we realize that we gotta eat more calories because we're we're probably burning was, about six thousand or so today. Yeah, and that's the other thing, that's a factor. If it was if it was hot today, it would have been much worse. Mm -hmm. I didn't get much sleep. I never do before one of these big trips. I I've got so much anxiety about 
forgetting something or, you know, missing people back in the Arroyo and I left my turtle behind and <laughs> you name it. It's just like lot, lots of stuff. Last yeah. night, my, I uh, had a problem with my refrigerator in, in the mm -hmm. kitchen and I, I had to do a electric repair this morning. So. And the turtle knew you were leaving. The turtle knew. Oh, he knew. Oh, yeah, he knew. Yeah. He wasn't, he didn't look too happy. Yeah. So anyway, speaking of not looking too good, that 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 maple spam doesn't look very good, does no, it? I don't know if we maybe cut it better last time. I, I know, just remember it being able to be cut. cut that yeah. doesn't look good at all. No, no, I, <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, here I'm gonna take one little piece and just I'm gonna just I'll take oh. this. That's a big piece. Hmm. All right. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm. It's not as bad as some of those spams we've had. Right. But it's not the best either. <laughs> when in doubt, stick with the original. No. <laughs> the original spam is the best. <laughs> we've now determined that the reduced sodium one, not too good. The mm. bacon one was terrible. Mmm. There's one other one we tried that wasn't very good either. I, Low yeah. fat. Oh no. Yeah. Mm. Just leave it to the original. This kind of has a fun taste of bacon. <laughs> I mean the maple. Mm. A little bit. Yeah. All right. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy our spam and try not to cramp. And um, I hope you enjoyed today's video, Baja Divide Cape Loop. Day one, almost 14 miles in the books. <laughs> we got a long way to go. <laughs> but we're going to take you on the ride and introduce you to some more crazy people. And who knows what we're going to find. Right? Yep. Stay tuned. Beautiful sunset over our first night here on the Baja Divide. Cactuses, sand, mountains. But beautiful. I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters and did you know you can join for as low as five bucks a month for exclusive behind the scenes Drive the Globe content. Thanks for joining me today. I really hope that you liked this video and if you did, give a big thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video.